Why should I learn Kung Fu? Chinese Kung Fu, also known as Gong Fu or Wushu, is a series of fighting styles which has developed over a long historical period in China. Nowadays, it is regarded as a traditional sport gaining more and more popularity and even stands as a representative for Chinese culture. In recent years, learning Chinese martial arts has been more and more popular among people of different ages and nationalities. Therefore, many Kung Fu training centers or clubs have been established. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at why Kung Fu is a good martial art to learn. But before we do this, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. Thanks! But for now, let's get back to Kung Fu. The Chinese term Kung Fu is not just about martial arts history, as it actually describes any individual accomplishment or refined skill that is achieved after hard work. In that sense, the actual term Kung Fu can be used to describe any skill obtained in such a manner, not just those of the martial arts variety. Still, Kung Fu is widely used to describe a significant portion of Chinese martial arts in the contemporary world. In this sense, the term is representative of highly varied martial arts systems that are somewhat difficult to trace. In order to survive in an extremely hostile environment, our primitive Chinese ancestors developed primary means of defense and attack that included leaping, tumbling, and kicking. Although they knew how to fight with basic weapons made from stones and wood, fighting with bare hands and fists became essential skills. The martial arts we recognize today as Kung Fu had their origins in the Shang and Zhou dynasties. During the following Qin and Han dynasties, wrestling, swordplay, and spear skills became well-developed and were more popular among civilians and troops. Following the Song dynasty, various schools, boxing styles, movement sets, and weapon skills flourished. Kung Fu is primarily a striking style of martial arts that utilizes kicks, blocks, and both open and closed hand strikes to defend against attackers. Depending on the style, Kung Fu practitioners may also possess knowledge of throws and joint locks. The art utilizes both hard, meeting force with force, and soft, using an aggressor's strength against them, techniques. It is also widely known for its beautiful and flowing forms. The basic goals of Kung Fu are to protect against opponents and disable them quickly with strikes. There is also a very philosophical side to the art, as it is strongly tied, depending on style, to the Buddhist and Taoist principles that were brought up with it. Due to the rich and long history of Chinese martial arts, there are over 400 sub-styles of Kung Fu. The northern styles, such as Shaolin Kung Fu, tend to put a level of importance on kicks and wide stances. The southern styles are more about the utilization of the hands and narrower stances. Some of the most popular sub-styles from the north are Shaolin, Long Fist, Eagle Claw, and Monkey Style. And from the south, Wing Chun, Hungar, and Choi Li Foot. We are almost at the halfway mark now, so just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Now back to Kung Fu. Now to the question, why should you learn Kung Fu? This martial art is one of the most all-round beneficial forms for the body. But let's start with the different styles as an advantage in fighting. The Luan Ying style, for example, is deadly. It is a combination of punches, hammer fists, palm strikes, elbow strikes, low kicks, and forearm trapping techniques. And Bruce Lee's original style of Kung Fu, Wing Chun, is also very effective. If you are up against an attacker untrained in martial arts or other fighting styles, then Kung Fu is very effective for self-defense. On top of that, you have discipline and self-control that are essential parts of virtually all martial arts. Kung Fu is primarily about striking. 
Thus, the majority of styles within this realm teach incapacitating strikes to vital areas. This is a good thing in a self-defense situation, as speed is key. What's more, Kung Fu does teach a lot about distance control and moving in and out of harm's way effectively, which limits the damage that can be done to you, the practitioner. The effectiveness of Kung Fu relies on a series of stances and blocks. First, beginners learn the stances and then go on to learn a series of strikes and blocks. The horse stance is where the feet are firmly placed wide apart, the toes are pointed outward slightly, and the practitioner goes into a squat. The knees are bent slightly higher than 90 degrees. To test mental and physical strength, students are often asked to hold this stance for up to an hour at a time. This is the very stance that many Kung Fu movements are formed from. Most Kung Fu punches and kicks are done in the horse stance or in a straight standing position. The Kung Fu front kick is a very simplistic yet powerful move designed to be done quickly and with enough power to stop an attacker in his tracks. Health is another benefit to learning Kung Fu as it is a complete body activity. It increases stamina, energy, cardiovascular endurance, and strength, improves coordination, balance, agility, and speed. Repeated practice of kicks, punches, and pivots of the hips stretch the entire body and develop flexibility while increasing strength at the same time. Not forgetting reducing excessive body mass and maintaining a healthy weight. Health benefits may include lowering blood pressure, increasing blood circulation, strengthening the immune system, and improving sleep quality. It will also get you in great shape for all your other activities and hobbies. Kung Fu comes from a tradition that requires intense focus. Students will learn how to perform exercises designed not only to improve their bodies, but their minds at the same time. Your mind will focus and absorb more, remember more, and understand more. The art of Kung Fu helps to improve self-confidence. As you increase your abilities, strength, and self-defense skills, you start to feel better about yourself. The teachings help to push your limits and set goals to be your very best. Being capable of doing more leads to confidence. Learning how to handle yourself in a confrontation will make you less likely to be caught in one. You will be able to exercise greater presence of mind. As you learn to focus and relax, you will be able to push aside irrelevant details and experience true peace of mind. Of course, Kung Fu prides itself on mental attitude and temper control and is a great way of relieving stress. The exercises loosen up muscles, breathing techniques help slow the heart rate and bring more oxygen to the brain, a healthy way to blow off steam. As you transfer the skills you learn for stress relief and discipline into your outside life, you will find that problems rarely get the better of you. Above all is respect for yourself and others. Kung Fu teaching starts with respect for your instructors and fellow classmates. All classes begin and end with a bow of respect. What do you think of Kung Fu? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top fighting videos just like this one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.